all right what's going on everybody welcome back dudes today we're talking about remnant 2 now i actually was not gonna make a video on this but i took a poll on the channel and apparently there's a lot of people who don't know what remnant is and so here we are now remnant 2 is of course the sequel to remnant from the ashes which released back in 2019 now remnant from the ashes is pretty much quoted as being the dark souls with guns and while it absolutely is a souls like game the game does have its own identity it is pretty unique and it is pretty dope not gonna lie now I will say that I do have a lot of recency bias with this game because I just played part one literally like two weeks ago had no idea that the sequel was so close to coming out so I'm pretty uh, revved up from playing the first one the game was amazing the boss fights were insane now one thing that I will say that it lacked was a little bit of build variety and I did not play the DLC so maybe that changed somewhere in the uh, the DLCs but for me that was definitely my biggest issue and part two looks to uh, pretty much blow that part of the game completely out of the water all right so enough rambling on man why should you guys be paying attention to remnant 2 number one the price and the bang for your buck if remnant 2 is anything like remnant 1 as far as what you get with the base content and the game we're gonna be in for a treat man because remnant from the ashes part one was a uh, an amazing game dude there was so much to do in that game there was so much replayability and that game i believe at launch was only 40 bucks the amount of content the amount of things to do was pretty mind-blowing to me especially in this day and age where you know companies just nickel and dime you until you're pretty much broke and they don't give you <laughs> any real good content dude it's kind of crazy when you think about it i ain't gonna call no names out right here but uh wink wink destiny 2 i see you over there now the reason remnant 1 was so replayable was because of the procedural generated areas i think i said that word right now what that means for a game like this is sometimes you don't even know what you're gonna fight you go into a new area you might fight a boss one time and then the next time you go to that same area you'll fight a different boss now they're actually taking that a step further inside of remnant 2 now the way they're going to accomplish that is make the actual story random i know it's kind of crazy when you say it out loud but if you and your group of friends you all go through the game there's a good chance that none of you guys are going to experience the same story at least in the same order as what it seems like now of course you're probably going to still hit the same you know big story beats but as far as you know the way you progress through the game it could be completely different now i am pretty curious to see how they're going to pull this one off but in the first game i feel like they did a pretty good job with making the replayability you know really really good especially because you can always up the difficulty you can throw in some co-op and the fact that some of the items that you find are just completely random the enemy groups are random of course within that subset of groups that's on that planet the encounters are always different so overall replayability man this game uh remnant 2 seems to have <laughs> exactly what i'm looking for here now next thing we got to talk about is something that is a pretty big change from the first game and i think this is a uh, a game change this is an amazing change right here and that is the introduction of the archetype system aka classes now in the first game classes weren't really a thing you could pick whatever class you wanted to at the beginning and it didn't really matter you could always you know swap out your gear swap out your loadout there was a lot of freedom in that aspect but it did feel weird making that choice at the beginning of the game and it pretty much had no effect on the rest of the game but in remnant 2 that is completely changed when the game launches we're going to have access to four archetypes and i'm just going to call them classes because you know it just uh it's <laughs> it's faster to say classes now there will be five in total but one you don't get until later on in the game unless you actually pre-order the game then you get a day one so uh there's some uh pre-order incentive right there <laughs> to get a the gunslinger class but yeah we're gonna start with four classes we got the handler who is kind of like a uh, super support character from what i've seen you have a pet dog who you can sick on enemies you can make them defend you they can revive you if you go down if you're playing solo if you're playing co-op and a partner goes down they can revive the partner while you, you know keep suppressing fire an enemy or whatever and this class seems to be like a pretty supportive class because you can not only buff yourself you know aob buffs but you can also buff your teammates with things like movement speed you know extra defense and stuff like that so the handler class is looking pretty nice if you want to play a support class then we have the challenger class which i would pretty much classify it as a uh, like a tank warrior type deal he has a big old sword pretty much an expert at close quarters combat you know shotguns melee weapons and such he also has a berserk mode which looks absolutely insane dude so uh <laughs> if you want to go with a melee build challenger is definitely the way to go next up we got the medic which is pretty much just a uh 
<laughs> like a super medic. It can heal you up pretty quick. If your entire team goes down, it could pop their ultimate and pick everybody up at the same time. Heals faster, revives faster, keeps your team alive. Pretty much what you want a medic to do. Also looks like a super dope class, man. I uh, I love playing support classes. So this uh, this may be my main. It's either going to be the medic or the handler. One of the two going to be my main class. But moving on next up, we got the hunter class, which is pretty much what it sounds like. The hunter, he does damage, has a rifle, probably going to be the biggest burst damage out of the group besides the fifth class. That one looks like it might be a uh, might reign supreme as far as DPS goes. The hunter is pretty much just the DPS support for the team. They can mark enemies for everybody on your squad. If you're able to tag enemies on side their weak points, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. So overall, man, the hunter looks uh, pretty basic, but pretty effective. So if you like doing DPS from range, hunter is probably going to be the way to go. Now, last but not least, we got the gunslinger. Now, the gunslinger, like I said earlier, you unlock this later on in the game. Unless you pre-order the game, then you can play it, uh, I guess, like day one. But there ain't no sugarcoating it. The gunslinger is there to do damage. The boy looks sick. Like he got this quick draw move. Bro, it looks absolutely insane. It's kind of got like an aimbot as well. <laughs> when he pops his ultimate, he can make all of his weapons go into full auto. Crazy dude, absolutely insanity. Now the gunslinger is pretty much the mascot for gunfire games. So you know this class is gonna be absolutely busted and they're not gonna care. It's their logo. <laughs> he looks cool, he looks badass. And uh, yeah, dude, he's probably gonna be strong for a long time. Now moving on to the build crafting. This is what gets me going. I love making builds and games. And we just talked about the classes, but we did not talk about once you hit a certain point in the game, you're able to start combining these classes and some of their traits. Now you won't be able to combine like the ultimate traits, but as far as the, uh, I guess, lesser traits, say you wanted to make a gunslinger, but he also had some of the, uh, the healing abilities from the medic. You could do that later on in the game. You'll be able to start mix and matching gear, mix and matching traits, all of these crazy things, dude. The build crafting is gonna go crazy in this game. At least I hope so. I haven't actually got my hands on the game yet, but in my mind's eye, dude, we're gonna make some crazy builds in this game and uh, that's gonna add more to the replayability, dude. You can't go wrong with this game, dude. And your boy is super excited if you cannot tell already. Now, staying on the topic of build crafting, in Remnant 1, we had access to, as far as equipment goes, we had access to a helmet, a chest piece, and boots, as far as gear. And then for your jewelry, you had a necklace and two rings. In Remnant 2, we have a helmet, chest piece, gloves, boots. <laughs> we have one necklace and then four rings. So, already, that's a, uh, that's a whole lot more build diversity. Now, I don't know how potent the rings are going to be compared to, uh, you know, Remnant 1 because, you know, we got more slots. Maybe they tame back some of the uh, the effects on the actual amulets and stuff like that, but we shall see when the game drops. But there's just so many things to consider when you're making a build in this game, dude. The perks, the traits. I guess perks and traits are the same thing. I mean, I, mean, I called them traits earlier, but they're perks. They're, <laughs> they're perks. On top of that, we also have the class-specific skills that are on a cooldown. So... Dude, there's just so much things to unpack in this game. There are way more layers to build crafting compared to the first one. And the end game builds are gonna look crazy as all heck, man. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is the actual combat. Now, the combat from Remnant 1, it did feel kinda weird at first. It did feel a little bit clunky. And this is me playing the game, you know, just a few hours ago. And just from me doing some research, looking at the trailers they've been releasing over the last few months, the game looks like it plays a lot better. Like it looks a little bit more fluid. It looks a little bit less clunky and uh, definitely more refined. And I guess it has been like, you know, four or five years. So it probably is better. I haven't got my hands on it yet, but it does look cleaner. Now, as far as the difficulty in the game, Remnant 2 is looking like it's going to be a little bit more difficult than Remnant 1. Now, if you played Remnant 1, you know that the enemies themselves, they aren't really that difficult, but it's when they start to group up that's when the stress comes in <laughs> that's when chaos all hell breaks loose and the enemy density in remnant 2 is looking a lot more uh what's the word they're looking a lot more thick in this game dude there's a lot more enemies coming at you at once and it's looking like they're really pushing you to play this game in co-op but you know me we're gonna go solo at least for a little bit i don't know actually i might do co-op who knows but this game does not look like it's going to be an easy game. It looks like you're going to have to get used to the combat. You're going to have to get used to the world, the way things move. 
And I know that goes hand in hand with pretty much any game, but I just want to put that out there that this game does not look like it's going to be a, uh, a cakewalk by any means. But it does look like fun. So I guess at the end of the day, that's pretty much all that matters, man. Now, I may or may not do a in-depth character breakdown of all the characters, but the game releases in a few days. I don't really know if I have time to actually make those videos, especially with me not having my hands on the game yet, not having, you know, that in-game context, that in-game experience. It's kind of hard to make those type videos. But if you're interested in Remnant of the Ashes, man, we're going to be streaming this game a lot. We're going to try to do a, uh, a good amount of guides here and there. But mainly, I like making the crazy builds, man. So yeah, dude, that's all I got for you guys today, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys check out this game, man. And yeah, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that shenanigans down below. We also do have channel memberships now, so there is that. But yeah, dudes, hope you guys have a good one. My name is Alex, and I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace. Take it easy.